Hello and welcome to the in-depth series section of Drishti IAS. I'm Aisha and in today's episode we will be talking about the mule bank account problem. So basically nowadays you are hearing a lot of cases which talks about digital arrest. So in this the financial fraud which takes place we tend to believe that the other person asks us to pay money because we have done something wrong. Now what happens is when we pay money to the other person they ask us to pay money into different bank accounts. Dif now, a single person can have a limited number of bank accounts. It is not that a single person will have 10, 20 and 30 or 40 bank accounts. So, the question arises that from where these fraudsters are getting so many bank accounts. And that is also one of the problems that can come under the mule bank accounts. So, that is what we will be talking today. So, let us first of all look at the timeline. First, we will be knowing about the news. Then, what is Mule Bank account? MuleHunter.ai that the RBI has said that this is this can be a solution to the problem of the Mule Bank accounts. Now, Mule Bank account problem, crackdown on Mule Bank account and then in the end prelims practice question. Topic is of relevance from general studies paper 3 that is economy. The news talks about how RBI is leveraging artificial intelligence to crack down on mule bank accounts. So, the Reserve Bank of India, which is the central bank of India, it has talked about a solution and that is that artificial intelligence help needs to be taken to crack down on the mule bank accounts and this artificial intelligence will work efficiently in cracking down on the mule bank account. So, what becomes important for us is to know that what is the mule bank account because then only the complete picture will become clear to us. But before moving towards it, Drishti IAS Mukherjee Nagar classes has now shifted to Noida. So, Noida is the new UPSC hub now and the first IAS GS foundation prelims plus main scores, the offline batch in Hindi medium. So, the batches have Batches have already started and that is on 9th of December and the admissions are, the admissions have begun while the English medium classes or the first batch of the English medium offline batch will begin on 12th of December and the timing is 6 p.m. So, if you are traveling by the metro station, then the nearest metro station for you is Noida sector 15 and the exact address is C171 oblique 2 block A sector 15 Noida. And if you want to know about the exact location then the link is provided in the description box and also if you want to get want to receive a call from Drishti IAS then the link is provided in the description box you can go and fill out the form so that you can receive a call back from Drishti or in case of any query give us a call at 9311406440 and looking into your preparation for the prelims and mains for the year 2025 Drishti IAS has launched a new program and that is Sambhav 2025 for both prelims and mains. So, under this the key features are that you will be receiving 10 prelims questions on daily basis, 2 mains practice question on daily basis. So, your MCQ and answer writing practice both are done. Then in-depth analysis of previous year questions you will be getting and the general studies and the current affairs both will be covered in this and all the aspirants will be giving tests. So, you will also be getting the real time ranking so that you can judge your preparation. Now, coming back to the news, so the Reserve Bank of India has talked about or it has created an artificially intellig artificial intelligence powered model that could reduce digital fraud. So, to reduce the number of digital fraud, the, the Reserve Bank of India, which is the central bank of India, it has developed a new a artificial intelligence or AI powered model and that model will help banks deal with the increasing problem of mule bank accounts and the name of the model is mulehunter.ai now mulehunter.ai is the name of the model which the reserve bank of india has developed and it has been developed by the reserve bank innovation hub which is situated in bengaluru and which is a subsidiary of the central bank now, let us talk about what is a mule bank account. So, mule bank account is, it is used by criminals for illegal activities including laundering of illicit funds. Now, the illicit funds or the laundering of illicit funds, it means that the money which is earned 
using using irrational ways or unlawful ways so these ways are not legal these are illegal money so the criminals which earn money through illegal ways or laund money laundering they do so they use the mule bank accounts it means that the bank account which they use for using of the illegal money which they have earned or for transferring of this money is what is called the mule bank account so basically it is used by the criminals for illegal activities including the laundering of illicit funds so they are bought by the criminals from their original users so now as of now in india there are many people who have the bank account but they are not using that bank account or they do not have the required money to put it in that bank account so what these criminals do is that they tend to find out these people and then they take or they borrow their bank account and in return they give them some amount and then ye they the criminals use or the digital fraudsters use these bank account for their own purposes and to transfer money from one place to another place now in this what happens is that even though the account is used by the fraudsters but the account is registered on the name of the person who is not using it so in this case what happens is that if any bank account is being caught by by the police then in the end who gets caught it is the person on whose name the bank account is registered while the criminal or the fraudster gets they do not get caught by the police because they are just using it on the on the other hand they the name on which it is registered is not theirs so in the end they are not caught by the police and they roam openly even though they are using the bank account so the individuals who are often from lower income groups or have low income of technical literacy so these people their bank accounts are used by the criminals then there is another concept of money mule so now i hope mule bank account is clear to you now there is a concept of money mule now money mule are known as people who are innocent victims who are used by the criminals to launder stolen or illegal money via their bank accounts the people which i was just telling you that even though they do because they do not have the sufficient earning or they are not using the digital payment methods or they do not have the desired digital financial knowledge so that they can use their bank account so they give their bank account to other people so these are the people these innocent people or you can say the these innocent victims are known as money mule so these incidents are reported money mule becomes target of police investigations because these are the people on whose name the account is registered and their accounts are involved by while the actual criminals they may remain undetectable because they are they are, the bank account is not registered on their name so the identity proof are not used by them then the rbi guidelines so the rbi guidelines talks about that strengthening cyber security needs to be done and cyber fraud prevention and transaction monitoring needs to be kept a check at like for example if there is an account in which there is some 100 rupees 500 rupees or 1000 rupees is kept from last or you can say from a very long period of time and suddenly transactions tend to take place in that account and big amount transaction tends to take place like for example 50000 or 1 lakh or above then these these can be red flag and these accounts needs to be kept a check at now mule hunter dot ai so we have just known that mule hunter dot ai is artificially intelligence model and it is developed by the rbi and you can say it is developed by the subsidiary of the central bank and that is reserve bank innovation hub in bengaluru and it is a model which is which will work towards reducing the digital fraud then it enables detection of mule bank account in an efficient manner now detection of mule bank account in an efficient manner so the incident which i just told you that in case the the bank accounts which are dormant or the bank accounts which are not working or the activity is not happening in that bank account and suddenly if the activity tends to take place or the activity of higher 
amount tends to take place then it will be working on that and it will work in an efficient manner and it will also ask banks to collaborate with rbih to further develop the mule hunter dot ai model to deal with the issue of the mule bank accounts being used for committing financial frauds and when the financial frauds take place a person tends to ask you to pay money into different bank accounts and that is how they get so many different bank accounts and even though the crime is found out but they remain undetectable now mule account problem now the key element in the majority of the online financial frauds in india is the mule bank account and the center in center has frozen around 4.5 lakh such bank account so you can imagine that around 5 lakh bank accounts have been frozen in the name of the mule bank accounts it means that the quantity is going or the number of mule bank accounts are increasing and around 40000 were detected in various branches of state bank of india 10000 in pnb then 7000 in canara bank 6000 in kotak mahindra bank and around 5000 in airtel payments bank so the so the names of the banks are also different so almost every bank they are using now crackdown on mule bank account so rbi is asking banks to be more vigilant and they need to follow certain guidelines so that the mule bank account numbers will not increase in future like they need to the banks need to adopt best practices leverage cutting edge tools interbank collaboration to address the mule account effectively adopt advanced technologies so that efficient hunting of mule accounts can be done including ai ml solutions real time detection of mule accounts and train the bank staff on fraud detection and prevention so the bank staff so the bank staff needs to be smart in this sense that if they find out something suspicious they can detect it then rbi is also running a hackathon and the theme of the hackathon is zero financial frauds because in today's time as the cyber fraud and the cyber security problem is rising so the biggest problem is becoming that the financial frauds which are on a rise it needs to be stopped at the right moment now in the end a prelims mcq and you people need to tell me the answer in the comment section so the question reads the mule hunter dot ai is associated with mule bank account sebi forex reserve or imf as we have discussed this in the video becomes an easy question for you to answer so give me the answer in the comment section and that's all for today thank you so much for watching till we meet next time keep reading keep writing and keep subscribing to the channel thank you for more informative content like share and subscribe and do not forget to press the bell icon to get the notifications